Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to improve your little minnow bubbler. This is one of those little bubblers that you put in your minnow bucket or your fish bucket to oxygenate the water to keep your fish alive. And you know, they sell them at Academy. I paid something like $5.97 for this, and you have some by Bubble Box and just other companies out there. Um, and you know, you buy them, um, they run, this one's cheap but they run all the way up to about 20 bucks and they last a little while and then all of a sudden they don't work or they don't produce enough air to keep your fish alive. They're just a really weak concept, a great concept, but they just don't seem to deliver what you really want out of them. Um, and I'm gonna show you today how to fix that, okay? So let's just start by looking at this one right here. Now this one here, you know, is a cheap one. Uh, it's got a little switch in the back, but uh, you know, it runs a little bit. You know, any kind of little obstruction here. It, it's got two batteries in it. They're both full. Okay, we can see here that in a little cup of water, you know, it's putting out some air. It actually works better if you take it out of the water. You see how fast the little motor's going? Then you put it under pressure, and the deeper it goes, you know, if it's in a five-gallon bucket, the more water pressure on it, it, it's barely able to push against it. Look at this. See that? That's because it's barely be able to fight against the water pressure. But what we're going to do today is completely transform this into something that could keep not only minnows alive, but big fish alive. I mean, we're going to triple, quadruple the air output of this, this device today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a little mini voltage converter regulator. Uh, these are cool little project kits that you can buy on Amazon.com. Um, I bought this one a while ago. I think I paid about $10 for it. They, you can find them from $9 to $12, but uh, around $10 range. And I will throw a link in the description of the video to this one right here that I bought. And you can uh, check it out there. But they come in different sizes and configurations. So the first thing is I'm going to assemble this little uh, project here, get it all set up, and then we'll, I'll show you how to hook it up. So we have our little uh, project volt converter box connected all together here. Now we need to give it a source of power. Now I'm using the 6 volt deer feeder, wild, wildlife game feeder um, battery right here that I'm going to use to power it. But it can actually take all the way up to 32 volts, guys. This thing is pretty amazing. It can take a, a big in volt, uh, input all the way to 32 volts and it can convert it to anything else. So it's a pretty cool little device. So we're going to hook this up first and then we're going to hook up uh, output that will go out to the little minnow pump. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I had these little battery connectors here. I don't know what I had. It was just laying around. So I'm just going to use these because I can hook it up to the little 6 volt battery or a 12 volt battery or anything. So I'm just going to snip this off here. I'm not even sure what that used to go to. But, you know, I like to use whatever I have around. Repurpose stuff. Go ahead and strip these off a little bit. This looks like about 18 gauge. So we'll just strip that off a little bit there. Okay. 
Now if you look down here on the box, right there, it says N plus, and then up here it says N minus. So this is your positive, this is your negative. So we'll just go in here, undo these a little bit. Okay, this is our red one. So we'll go ahead and put that twist that up a little bit and we'll put it in put it to the positive okay then go ahead and put the negative in good okay so now we're going to modify our little box here because we want to put our little project box right down in here in the battery compartment and we need to kind of clean up the little dividers and stuff there so just going to come in here and kind of break this out and anyway, we should be able just to rip this thing out here Take these battery things out here. Let's pull our battery post out. Now you can cut these little wires off. I'm just going to desolder it. Desolder this. All right. Clean that up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now our negative wire goes there. Now our little project box goes in there. Okay, let's hook it up. Okay, so over here are the up and down buttons. We can increase or down or, or decrease the output. Let's take it down to 1.5 volts. Okay, 1.5 volts is what a normal DC battery uh, puts out. Okay, let's increase the voltage. Let's go up. Look at there. Boy, it's putting out some air now. 2.1 volts. Look at that, there it goes. Listen to that little thing roar. Let's see how high we can go here. Look at that, look at that. Look at that thing, man. It's 3.1 volts. Well, this has been a fun little project, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it for you. Um, and I hope you learned something useful. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the little notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I release new projects like this. Okay? Um, you know, comment below what you liked about it. And 
if you're interested in buying this little voltage regulator, I will put a link to this one in the description of the video. Just look in the description to see that. Um, but there are quite a few out there that you can find, not just this one. And they range, uh, they, I've seen them as cheap as $5 if you just want the little circuit board. Now the one that I'm going to put a link to comes with the little, uh, you know, pot poly glass case that, that I put on. Um, but, um, there's others out there and they range, like I say, you can find them at all different kinds of prices around $10. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the John Bruce Floor signing out.